chances are you know what money is. You are old enough to know that most people have a job that pays them money. You might have a job yourself, like getting paid to babysit or to complete chores around the house. You probably already know that money is used to buy things like food and clothes. Other than earning and spending money, what else can you do with money? Let's learn more about money. When we receive money, we need to put it in a safe place so that we can use it later. Your friends and family probably put their money into a bank. What is a bank? A bank is a place to keep your money safe. There are two banks that you may be familiar with. On the left, you will see a piggy bank. A piggy bank will hold your money until you are ready to spend it. On the right is a building called a bank, and they will keep your money safe until you are ready to spend it. How do you spend money if it is in the bank? There are four ways to spend your money. The first way to spend money is by using cash to pay for things. You can go to the bank and take cash out of the bank. You have probably seen people pay for things with cash. You learned how to count cash and coins in school. The second way to spend money is by using a debit card. This plastic debit card has numbers on it. When you spend money at the store with your debit card, the store uses those numbers to take your money out of the bank. The third way to spend money is by writing a check. A check has numbers on it, and those numbers are used to take your money out of the bank. Sometimes adults will write a check to pay for things like bills. The fourth way to spend money is an electronic payment. An electronic payment, or e-payment, is paying for goods or services using electronic devices such as computers, smartphones, or tablets. The money is withdrawn from your account and sent to the person or company in which you would like to pay. For example, your parents can pay their bills through electronic payment. What is a bill? A bill is something that you have to pay. Your family will pay many bills for living in your home. They will receive a bill for the water that flows into your home through pipes. They will also receive a bill for the heat that warms your home and the electricity that lights up your home. What are some other things you might receive a bill for? Those are great guesses. Let's review the four ways to spend money. What were they? That is right, cash, debit card, checks, and e-payments. There is one more thing you can do with money. You can save your money. A bank will pay you money if you leave your money in the bank. It is called interest. Your money's job is to grow while it sits in the bank. The longer you leave your money in the bank, the more your money grows. Compound interest helps your money grow faster because your interest will earn interest. Let's say you put $1,000 in a savings account and you earn 5% interest on your account. After the first month, the bank will pay you $4.17 just for leaving your $1,000 in a savings account. Now you have $1,004.17. If you keep your money in the account, the bank will pay you interest on $1,004.17. So you will receive $4.18 in interest after the second month. Now you have $1,008.35 in your savings account, and the bank will pay you 5% interest on all of it. After the third month, the bank will pay you $4.20, and now you have $1,012.55. Did you notice that each month your money keeps growing? You started with $1,000, and now you have $1,012.55. Essentially, the bank paid you $12.55 for leaving your money in your savings account for three months. Can you imagine how much money you will have in 30 years if the bank continues to compound your interest every month? 
you will have $4,467.74 just for putting $1,000 in a savings account. The miracle of compound interest is the reason why it is important to begin saving money as early as possible. I hope you enjoyed learning about money. When you get a job, now you know how to spend and save your money. This video is brought to you by Money Moments.